Welcome to this video. This video explains how to model two-dimensional problems, especially plane stress problem. We choose a whole plate with a dimension of 40 by 40 millimeters and a circle with the radius of 2.5 millimeters and the plate is still and under tensile in horizontal direction. At first we should consider that we want to reduce our computational cost and we can find two symmetry lines in the problem then we can model just one quarter of the problem instead of the total problem and reduce our computational cost significantly then we should apply appropriate boundary condition in symmetry lines that we will explain in the load module to start the modeling at first we should choose an appropriate unit system which is SI millimeters by millimeters newton and ton and second then we can start modeling by create a part and the name is whole plate and the problem is two dimensional deformable and we want to draw a shell an approximate size of 15 for the sheet size we create a rectangle from point zero zero to point twenty twenty and then we can cut the circle by shape cut and extrude and we draw the circle in the corner with a radius of 2.5 and then extrude it and cut from the part this is our part and we can continue to the property module here we can create a material the material is steel and the problem is linear elastic we just need young modulus and poisson ratio here we should consider that we are modeling in the millimeter unit and the stress is in megapascal and then we create a section the section is solid with the name of steel and homogeneous 2d problems are a category of solid elements and we choose the material and if we had the exact thickness of the problem we can enter the thickness here and we should assign the section to the part then we can go to the assembly module and create an instance and then a step module and create a step here we are using abacus standard procedure we can use a static general procedure also for this problem if the geometry will not change significantly we can use linear perturbation instead of a static general that depends on the deformation level of the problem We assume that the problem can be nonlinear and we turn on nonlinear geometry and we go to the incrementation tab to set the incrementation parameters. At first we can increase the maximum number of the increment to prevent error related to reaching to the maximum possible increment number. Then we can change initial, minimum and maximum increment size to have more chance to converge the problem. If we reduce initial and minimum or maximum increment size, the chance of convergence will be improved. 
we have no interaction and we go to the load module in load module we should define symmetry boundary condition and apply pressure to one side of the problem before defining the boundary condition we define two sets one for left border and another set for the bottom border to apply symmetric boundary condition to these two borders we can see these two sets here and we can define boundary condition by create boundary condition x symmetry we choose the defined set and x symmetry means that displacement in direction 1 is 0 and similarly define y symmetry by choosing the bottom set and picking the y symmetry then we can create load and apply pressure to the right side of the part by choosing pressure and then right border and we enter the amount of pressure in megapascal here which is minus 1 as we want to apply tensile stress to the right border of the part we enter minus 1 instead of 1 then we can go to the mesh module at first we should apply mesh control to the model we prefer to choose quad and if possible we choose structured for meshing then we will define element type by assign element type the problem is plain stress we should choose between plane strain and plane stress here the problem is plane stress and we choose linear elements in this step but quadratic is more appropriate as we will discuss in the next video and then we can see this model and mesh the model this is not a good mesh and we will discuss in the next video about improving the accuracy of the simulation by changing the mesh now we can create a job the name of the job is important because from now every files that the software will create has this name and now we can save our CAE model we can choose a name for our file here and before submitting the job we should define the work directory for these files and then we can submit the job and submit the job we can monitor the progress of our job here and we can see that only two increments was needed to complete this job and every increment was very simple because it only need one iteration or one attempt now we can go to see the results by clicking the results here go to the visualization and we can see the stress distribution in the whole plate which shows a stress concentration around the hole 
we can plot S11 which means the stress in the direction of the load and see that the maximum stress is about 2.2 times the applied pressure this result is not accurate and we will discuss how to improve accuracy of these results in the next video thank you guys very much if this video was helped you out please let us know by a like or by a subscribe see you in the next video